Polyfem is a Horizon 2020 project funded under the Energy Program, coordinated by CNRS and implemented by nine partners from four EU member states. The objective of Polyfem is to improve the flexibility and performance of CSP plant at small scale to meet the requirements of local variable demand of energy. The technology consists of operating a combined cycle. The top cycle is a gas turbine operated on sun. The combustion chamber is substituted by a high temperature pressurized air solar receiver. The solar radiation is concentrated by, the, by mirrors on the receiver at the top of the tower. The exhaust heat from the gas turbine is recovered by thermal oil at medium temperature and is stored in a thermocline storage tank entirely made of concrete. Off sun, the heat is, is discharged from the storage tank and converted on demand into electricity by the bottom cycle, which is an organic ranking cycle. Aside from being the coordinator of the project Polyfem, CNRS was in charge of the construction and of the operation of the prototype plant. CNRS also contributed to the design of the solar receiver through the assessment of properties of materials at high temperature using the solar furnace. In addition to that, CNRS carried out the testing at laboratory scale of the thermocline thermal energy storage system in a specific test facility called Microsol. The most challenging for CNRS has been the continuous need for adapting the engineering of the plant to address all the technical issues raised along the execution of the project. In the end, we could complete the construction of a part of the concept and we are now ready for testing it. Dans le cadre de Polyfem, le CEA a développé un récepteur solaire permettant de satisfaire les besoins du projet, de soutenir les hautes températures ayant des caractéristiques mécaniques voulues. Au début du projet, euh, nous avons réalisé un benchmark de matériaux aboutissant au choix des alliages base nickel 600 et 230 pour fabriquer les parties externes et internes du récepteur. Nous avons fabriqué des petites maquettes représentatives pour caractériser la microstructure et les propriétés mécaniques des interfaces. Lors de la fabrication du, ré du récepteur final du projet, nous avons malheureusement rencontré un problème de fuite lors du cycle de compression isostatique à chaud, procédé d'assemblage pour fabriquer le récepteur, venant en fait de la fourniture de pièces euh, lors, de la, lors du début du projet. Ceci est dû à la crise Covid parce que nous avons dû approvisionner des tubes par un fournisseur que nous ne connaissions pas, des tubes roulés soudés au lieu de tubes sans soudure. Afin de continuer le projet, nous avons remplacé le récepteur solaire par un système de combustion thermique pour pouvoir tester les parties en bas de taux. En Arraela, hemos desarrollado una nueva formulación de hormigones con el objetivo energético. Eh, gran capacidad calorífica, gran capacidad de almacenamiento térmico y conductividad térmica. Esto los hace idóneos para todo el sistema de gestiones energéticas, térmicas y aprovechamiento energético, dado que podemos trabajar cómodamente y con seguridad hasta 600 y 700 grados. Simulation models to foresee the thermohydraulic behavior have been improved and successfully adapted for Polyfem. The biggest challenges have been on the material side to find out an appropriate concrete mixture for thermal energy storage while being compatible with the heat transfer fluid. On the direction side to find out a procedure not very time consuming to allocate the filler within the tank and on the model inside to adapt the current approaches to the specific features of the polyfem. To face all these challenges, the close collaboration between partners had played a critical role. The main contribution from Fraunhofer ESA has been through the development of components virtual models and integrating these models into the polyfem plant simulation. Together with the other Polyfem partners, we created static and dynamic simulation models with the ambit ambitious goal of creating a verified digital twin of the Polyfem technology. The virtual models have been deployed and largely verified in tasks such as 
uh, supporting the design of the plant and defining the plant's layout to the evaluation, benchmarking, and optimization of the technology as well as conducting an overall life cycle assessment. The virtual models implemented in our in-house tools such as Raychase 3D and Colsum CSP help the consortium understand the impact of various design parameters such as thermal storage size and solar field area. With this parameterization, we were successfully able to define multiple areas of optimization within the project. In order to eliminate the steam cycle, Kefer utilized a micro heavy duty gas turbine, a central part of the plant. The heat input for the gas turbine is to be delivered from a high concentrating solar receiver. The exhaust heat of the turbine is utilized in an organic ranking cycle to produce electricity again. With the thermal oil energy storage, the operation of the ORC can be extended into hours of lack of sunshine. With the special catalytic combustion chamber contributed by Kafer, the plant can even produce electricity and heat completely independent from the solar irradiation. In 2021, the micro heavy duty gas turbine, together with the catalytic combustion, executed a successfully trail operation at Kafer's facility in Bremen. We from Orkin Energy are experts in converting heat of any source into electricity. We have developed a range of power plants starting from the size of a car to the size of a freight container. They work like their brothers and sisters, like a coal-fired power plant or a nuclear heated power plant, but at much more smaller size and at much lower temperature. We take the residual heat from the solar-driven gas turbine to produce additional electricity. Within the Polyfem project, we have been evaluating how we can operate our process at higher evaporation temperatures compared to state-of-the-art. We knew that we would gain efficiency by that also in the ORC system. The challenge was to ensure reliable operation at those higher temperatures and this has been a big step forward in efficiency for us. At Orbox CSP we design and supply green solutions and integrated energy systems based on solar power, thermal energy storage and steam generating systems. The Orbox CSP scope in the Polyfilm project was to design and supply a high efficient air oil heat exchanger utilizing the waste energy in the exhaust from the micro turbine for producing hot thermal oil to the bottom cycle to be utilized in either the OOC machine or stored in the new developed thermocline energy storage tank. The aim was to lower the back pressure on the air side of the heat exchanger and thereby minimize the performance drop of the micro turbine. Later in the project, when the air receiver failed in manufacturing, we agreed to design and supply a diesel-fired hot air generator to substitute the microturbine exhaust to be able to test the bottom cycle on the CNIS site as originally planned. Euronovia was in charge of communication, dissemination and exploitation activities. We were specifically in charge of the logo, websites, social media, brochures, videos and events such as webinars and info days. The main innovations of the project concern the high temperature solar receiver, the thermocline energy storage and the two power blocks adapted to uh, the energy solar input. Despite a major technical issue on the solar receiver, we obtain many specific results. The main achievements are the selection of high temperature alloys and concrete materials suited for this application. The design, modeling and construction of new components and their performance assessment with the experimental testing or simulation works. The deployment of the polyfilm technology is highly desired and beneficial. Due to the plant layout, large parts can be produced and erected in the target country as local content. Also, maintenance can be performed locally by OEM trained personnel. So, the many people living in rural areas without proper energy infrastructure can gain power independence without risking the environment by transporting, for instance, diesel over long distances by land or sea. We are very grateful for having been given the chance to develop this technology. The multinational team of Polyfem faced many challenges, among not the least the global pandemic COVID. However, key targets were reached and the results are very promising. 
Because of the complex nature of the plant and interdisciplinary collaboration between the partners was the basis to address all the different technical issues and to develop the appropriate solution. We are convinced that the outcomes of the Polyfilm project will allow in the short term to reinforce the competitiveness of this new low-carbon energy technology, to favor its integration in the medium term in the worldwide energy mix and to contribute to the mitigation of climate change. To find more and stay tuned, join our community by subscribing to our newsletter or follow us on social media.